<laughs> it's Silly Survey Sunday, Valentine edition. Oh, get your paper and pencil. I'm not going to wait. survey Sunday again. This week the Valentine edition. I promise it's the last Valentine thing because it's over for another year. And also, did you know today was Flag Day in Canada? I don't think anyone knew. What do you like more? Hugs or kisses? I prefer hugs. Did you know that statistically they believe it takes up to eight hugs a day for a person to feel completely at peace and sane? How many hugs have you had today? Are you single? <laughs> no, I'm not single. Would you change your life for someone you love? i change my life, but I wouldn't change who I am. It's a good answer. If you were cheated on, what would you do? I know I would try to move past it, but it would never be the same. No, I think it would really destroy what we had. Have you ever cheated in a relationship? Yes, I have cheated. And not to make an excuse, but usually it was after having tried to break up with the person or a week before we officially broke up. The relationship was usually over. I didn't just fool around with a bunch of guys. Not my type. Do you want to be married? I would like to be married. Um, actually, David and I were discussing our wedding plans, but we don't plan to get married until we're 25, so there's a couple more years to get them. Right now, we consider each other husband and wife why I wear these, but as for the paperwork, in Canada we're considered common law. Obviously that differs from country to country, so if we were to travel, some people would consider us boyfriend and girlfriend, other people would consider us common law. But yeah, I don't want to be officially married with a white wedding, just when the dress fits again. Do you want kids? Well, I hope I do, otherwise I have a big surprise coming. What's your favorite position, if you know what I mean? Well, that's a little personal. Let's just say the same one that caused this. How many times a day do you tell your significant other that you love them? Pretty constantly. It's, uh, whenever the mood hits me, I tell him, but I at least tell him at least once a day and always before we say goodbye and always before we hang up the phone or, you know, part ways. My ex used to have a problem with that. Um, hopefully that wasn't his character and you know, it was just us, but I believe that you should never leave each other without properly saying goodbye because there's always the possibility that they might not come back. Which do you find more relaxing, thunderstorms or ocean waves? I like ocean waves. Which do you find more romantic, candlelight or moonlight? Well, it depends. If you're on a beach, obviously moonlight, but in the house, candlelight. Moonlight just keeps me up candles you can blow out. Which is more relaxing? The sound of wind chimes or seagulls? Wind chimes. And no crows. No crows. Flowers or candy? Flowers. I know they're dead, but I'm not a candy person. And, I don't know, flowers are just such a rare gift. Do you like to eat dinner by candlelight? Honestly, if it wasn't for David, we'd probably do everything in candlelight. When David's not home, I have candles lit all over the place. When he comes home, the lights go on. He finds it difficult to see in the dark. I don't find it dark, but he does. Do you like love songs? Certain ones can be appealing, but then there's others that are just really pop artists. You know, not really much more than trying to find words that rhyme. I love you the way you are when we're riding in your car. That was a bit of a stretch. Do you read poetry to your partner? Well, I read my poetry to him, but I haven't written a poem in a long time. And, I don't know, I'll read them if they're funny, like joke poems, but I'm not one to like, just go looking for poetry and reading to him. I'm more of a song person. Do you call your bedroom your boudoir? Hmm. Welcome to the boudoir. Not unless I'm joking. 
Do you place love notes around for your loved one to find? We used to do that. Well, I guess we still do. Um, we have this, like, for instance, we have a little note thing that you stick to your fridge and we write down, like, if we run out of rice, I run out of rice. And sometimes we'll add in, like, let's say we're putting three things down, like rice, frozen vegetables, I love you, fruits. You know, <laughs> we just kind of throw it in there so that when the person goes grocery shopping next, they see it and they're like, aww, do you spend more than one hour kissing your partner? We have. Again, have you ever placed a single rose on the seat of your lover's car as a surprise? No. He'd sit on it. But I did leave a card on his seat once. That was actually our first, my first romantic gesture to him. Do you sleep in silk pajamas? No, unless you consider my silky smooth skin. I sleep in the nude. Well, that's all for this week. Tune in next week when we continue the stereotype surveys. This has been a B-Rings production.